little art piece of, of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> That's like the, the most high, the highest damaging combo done in match. First try, yeah, first try never ever. dropped. Yeah. Uh, the, whole, the, the whole match was one Shang Tsung combo. Yeah, like those. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. I'm told so amazing. More. Here we go, guys. The last things. match of winners, top 16. We've My talked them up. And now it's time for combat. It's time, baby. Zombat. Big air there, Reed. Zombat, it was the Johnny Cage that we knew him for, that MK11. That's and it, right. in that match in particular, he was smoking. And it's going to be the Raiden from Ninja Killer, which means that he's coming out swinging. We saw some other characters early in the tournament. Nothing but seriousness today. Yes, yes. I mean, this is, you're not, you don't want to play around with Zombat. As you can see right now, putting on a clinic for Ninja Killa. Ninja Killa in a bad spot. Is he even going to, okay, gets the throw escape right. there, and showing signs of life, at least getting out of the corner. And is this not the run back from Evo as well, where they played, I think, for, in top 16, right. somewhere like that? They met around this time at yeah. Evo as well, uh, where Ninja won it really close. And hello, Lightning Cage hitting everywhere, keeping him in the corner. Spin to win, excellent negation of the chip, but not a stop of the pressure. Yeah, no, don't want to lay off the pressure. Oh, 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 big whiff punish here, and it hurts. When Raiden finds that whiff punish, and Ninja Kill is one of the best at them. I mean, Ninja Killer's neutral is phenomenal, insane. Like, the spacing from this player. You don't want to give an opportunity up. And, and if there's an ounce, and I mean one, maybe even .01 extra damage that you can find in a combo, Ninja's gonna find it and do it on on stream. Trust me. And say, is that hard? Is that supposed to be yeah. hard? Yeah. Is that hard? I, I do that. No problem. Although Sonic was flexing on us with those jump cancel combos yesterday, that was, oh, a, little, that was yeah. a little insane. Yeah, I, I saw Sonic doing them like to warm up, and I said, "Are, how, are those combos actually like really, really hard?" And he goes, "Yeah, they're hard. Does it for shot, like right in front of you." You know, <laughs> Sonic, they have this ability to just be great. <laughs> and that's what it is. That's and speaking of, 518 more from Ninja on the day. Ooh. One away, and that was... I, I, that, I, that, I that, don't that like seeing, yes, my yeah. heart. <laughs> my <laughs> that, heart, that heart was, dropped. That was a close one right there. That was super close. That could have been an entire game, the entire round, and you, you, you hate to see it combat starting out so phenomenally that against Ninja. Incredible. Yeah. Just, just the control that he gives you right there, and every time you tried to jump out, it was right into a lightning cage. Right into a lightning cage, no problem. I mean, you, you're not going to... Johnny Cage doesn't have anything to really mess with the trajectory there. Obviously, nothing like a teleport once you jump. So, that's clean, plain, and simple. Jump in, here comes the lightning cage. You're gonna land on it, you're gonna get hurt, and you're going back to your home. Wow, and now we've got some, uh, what feels like a challenge from Zombat that, that says, you know what, buddy? It's let's do this. <laughs> no, no, let's do this. Let's rock. It's, it's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. We got the same tools, the same options. I'm going to try to beat you at your own game. No excuses. It's a very tough order to tell someone as, as talented as Ninja Killer, I can beat you with your character. And Ninja's saying, so far, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. That's definitely what I'm seeing. I don't know if that was a flawless block attempt, trying to let go and then hold on to block to negate all that chip there because there's plenty of chip and it does add up here. As you can see here, Cyrex coming in to make it nice and safe. Ninja kill a flawless blocking there just at the end, right as Cyrex comes in for the clip. Gonna opt to use those two bars to make it count. It should be yeah. oh, plenty, plenty enough. Plenty enough. Plenty enough. We're going to spare. Now's the time to kill him, Armin. Now's the time. That's the time. Ah, <laughs> no, that was it. That was it. That was it. That's all you get. That's all. Back off. He's a fair fighter. I'll let you get up. Just to touch the block again. <laughs> just, to, just to sit through all this, this blocks then again. Back in the grinder. We all know how that feels. Staying low. The Raiden special. Raiden, not only Earthrealm's uh, Mortal Kombat champion, but also Earthrealm's Limbo champion. That's it, he gets low. He does Let get low. Let me tell you, he gets low. Good for him. <laughs> nice. I'd love to be that guy. Working the fields and working his opponents. <laughs> On block. Go to carrier. Interrupt, that was such a ridiculous. <laughs> But that was that was so smart to not finish the string there, wait for the Cyrex, and then get Cyrex out of the picture, and then continue your onslaught. Oh, back escape, playing to the corner, but that's okay. We're out of here, onto the other side. If it didn't work one way, I'm gonna do it the other way. This is a match that we're gonna see a lot of the passive ability of Raiden come into play. As the more that Raiden blocks, you see his eyes light up. 
That means he's taking a lot less chip damage. Almost acting like an auto flawless block for you. Almost, almost there. Still got a flawless block though. In 15 seconds, all that remains in this match with all of this health. It's been mostly blocked. It's been blocked. All checks and balances, and that was such a quick check by Ninja or reaction. That's something that you do not want to test against him. With three seconds remaining, you got to pick up, and that is going to be it. Two to zero for Ninja with one second remaining. Does I time that perfectly? It seemed like. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> it seemed like, you know, those first games when you're playing against somebody, you kind of figure it out. You figure out their tendencies. You figure out how aggressive they want to be or how defensive they want to be. And I think combat gave a lot of information there to Ninja Killa in that first game. I don't know if Johnny Cage is the way. I was seeing. I was seeing combat making the adjustments a little bit more towards the end of that second game. I would have liked to see him explore it a little bit more. You know that that second round, pretty close. Um, you know, a few different hits away. It wasn't any even here. He was he was hovering over Lau. He he just hovered over Cyrax some more, you and he's going back to Lau here, which I believe is a changeup from on round one, where he did have the, the you know Cyrax Johnny. Mm -hmm. Now he's gonna have the low for plus frames, a little bit uh, more for potential worry about full screen in comparison. Yeah. Finally, something from the worry about full screen. So a little bit of a changeup. I like this. I love the aggression after recognizing that the Lao Lo had hit, knowing how plus he was and saying, hey, this is the opening for me. Good throw escape here from combat. And the Lao Hat coming in as an anti-air, as a very convert, easy to convert combo. And Ninja Killa going for a ride. Now we did see this the first time around and Ninja Killa just laid down that first round and then turned it completely up on the follow-up. Right, so sometimes what, it's almost like he likes to take in the information mm -hmm. and then activate in round two. <laughs> Which I have heard stories of, like sitting old, up from his chair. I've heard, I've heard stories of old, in. old Street Fighter Two players that would do that. They would lose game one intentionally, ju just to see what you do, and, and then play. <laughs> and then play. Long, long set here, as you see. He's like that down. He's down two. Regarded as, if not the best down two in Mortal Kombat One, uppercutting the sky, looking to summon a thunderstorm with that thing. Good block overhead. of the Blocked. overhead there. A few times we've seen the overhead block. Yeah, yeah, because it's very fast, and again, it's it's the risk reward versus. Oh, oh, oh baby, so smart or bold. I can't tell sometimes when it comes to this man. I'd say big brain. I'd say big brain. Big player, brain is 100%. really good because you know what? That covers both <laughs> up a little bit. Gives him a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. He's full charging. Almost. There. The circle goes behind the hat immediately when he saw it. He took away the mind game instantly. And there's the mind game himself charging that. Are you going to try to jump it? Yeah. It interrupted. That could be that form this time. Oh, yeah. clipping the low there, but not really getting it much out of there. The back dash from Ninja Killa opening him up completely. He's going for a huge combo here. Has the corner, has the Cyrex assist. And this is a dangerous spot for combat. Oh, just playing with Nas Ninja. One hit, just one for the plus frames on that string. Oh. Great the space, and this is it for Zombat. He's got the hit. He's got the resources. Let's see if he can use it. Fatal Blow's in play. Armor, and he baits it. Let's go. Has the hit. Gonna go into the Fatal Blow. Get the damage, and now it whips. No. Not like this. Forces off the meter. Ninja, it aways fully, charging the projectile. Need all this chip even full screen. You gotta come to me right now. Puts down the Lao Hat, and that's Ooh. gonna be it. Ninja Killer takes it. Three to zero in winner's top eight. Man, you don't want to go down in that.